Hello, my Virgo babies. Welcome to your general reading for August 23rd through the 29th for anyone with Virgo in their sun, moon, or rising. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that energies can show up reversed for you. And again, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for every Virgo out there, but chances are, if you're watching this video, it's for a reason, okay? So let's see what we have this week. Two of Wands being your shadow card, okay? Trying to plan out how to move into a different direction. Let's see. Well, that makes sense because you're showing up as the Six of Swords, okay? Moving into a calmer waters, okay? Um, there could have been a lot of conflict here in the past, okay? And you just want a new way of being, a new way of living. You're not about that anymore, okay? Your challenge is Sagittarius energy here with the Temperance card, okay? Being patient, my Virgos, okay? Allowing yourselves time and patience to come into alignment, okay? But the divine is absolutely guiding you while you're on this journey moving into calmer waters and you are being brought into harmony, okay? Just may not feel that way just yet until you reap the benefits, right? Clarifying the Six of Swords, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, the High Priestess in the reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. This could be a soulmate connection, a job, okay, a family member, a sibling, a best friend, but you're leaving something behind it. It's very hard because you keep going back to it. This is showing up as a cycle, okay, for a long time. It's like you have been dedicated to trying to see how this can work, okay? But with the High Priestess in reverse here, you're not connected with your soul, okay? You may have cut off communication with this person as well, but this is showing like there's secrets here, okay? Um, now, granted, you may need to move away from this situation, okay? It may be the healthiest choice for you, okay? However, just remember that when you run, your problems go with you, okay? That's a message for somebody. Clarifying temperance, please, spirit. The uh, five of pentacles, we got an extra, okay. The eight of swords in reverse, again. Oh no, okay, so this is two eights. You had the eight of cups in reverse before. Be mindful for repeating numbers, okay. The universe is communicating with you. Seven of wands, five of wands in reverse. Lots of conflict. Conflict with others, conflict with yourself, mental conflict, replaying out situations, wondering if you're making the right choice, what should I do? This is an energy of grief, loss, poverty, it could be mental illness, okay? The Seven of Wands, needing to always battle, okay? Um, a very defensive energy where it's like, you're always ready to go because you have to be. That's how you feel. You feel like it's always going to end up in conflict and you have to defend yourself. You can't put your guard down here. Okay? But I'm seeing you take off the blindfold, Virgo. I really am. Okay? Again, it's in the challenge position. There's lots of conflict that you're going to have to divert your energy from. Okay? You're going to have to take back your power here. Focus on your accountability of where you're going now not what's happened in the past okay your focus is the moon good i just did a shadow work video if you are looking to heal your inner child or do shadow work that can be very very helpful okay for this full moon cycle but this is absolutely you guys looking um for answers almost like a surrender energy but it's about being in touch with your subconscious, realizing that you do have a shadow self that is trying to communicate with you, okay? Clarifying the moon, the Ace of Swords, the King of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, wow. Yeah. Your focus is just like, you guys feel lost. You're doing a lot of reflection right now on situations that you stuck around in that you never were able to extend your full heart your full energy you always had to keep it reserved somewhat 
but I show you wanting to heal this. I show you looking for clarity, how to close out that cycle. And this is showing me this is absolutely in your shadow, okay? Like possibly since childhood, okay? I'm proud of you guys to see that, that that's your focus, okay? That's showing me that you guys are very self-aware. In your recent past, we have Libra energy with the Justice card here. Forgiveness, truth. This could possibly be talking about um, a legal situation, okay? The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, the Five of Swords in the reverse. So we have three fives. Three fives is change and the lovers. This could be a divorce, a separation, a breakup. <sighs> trying to find resolution with this person. It's showing you trying to work a situation or a dynamic out, okay? Going back here. We saw that with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, going back to a situation in the past, okay? But the universe was not supporting that, okay? That's, that was bad karma. It was showing you didn't learn your lessons. Lessons were repeated in this dynamic, okay? There was some kind of consequence for that, okay? The universe wants you to kind of bird's eye view the situation okay and try to understand and see why that had to happen now your strength card is the four of cups in the reverse really sitting in the discomfort this can be an energy of self-pity okay because it's like you have a lot of wounds to give but at some point you have to pick up the pieces and that's very harsh but the universe would not put that out there if you couldn't hear it. The emperor, mm -hmm. very your way, okay? Like, I know how to do this. I know what I want. I Wanting to be the leader, okay? And not ready to be a student. And that might be exactly what you need is to just humble your ego a bit, okay? Because your soul, <laughs> your inner child, okay? Wants to be the one that leads. This has been about self-image, power, how people view you, security, like it's all external and your soul's like, hey, what about me? I just got a message where it's like, we've tried it so many times this way before where you've got to lead the way. Can we just try it my way one time and see what happens? We can always come back here <laughs> to the Four of Cups energy if we don't like it. So we just saw the Queen of Wands and now in the future we have the King of Wands. Interesting. So this person that you're dealing with could be making an appearance. If you're in a connection, especially if it's highly sexual, highly physical, this could be talking about that. This could also be you balancing both of those divine masculine and feminine energies within you for your self-image, okay? Honoring yourself. Let's clarify here. The Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Star. If Regardless of the... This is talking about a, another energy with a connection or yourself. There needs healing here because it is full of defensiveness. This is like the thief card. It's lying, cheating, stealing, betrayal. Because this person isn't in touch with themselves, okay? They're still trying to figure out who they are and establish boundaries, but it's carrying this energy. And it doesn't mean they're a bad person. That could be a survival trait. They don't know how to take off the mask. This is who they've had to be to get through the world, okay? And that could be you, Virgo. Apply it how it seems, okay? Ooh. The Three of Swords just flew out. This is a lot of heartbreak. Your suggested approach is the Six of Pentacles, okay? An equal give and take. Giving yourself what you have been trying to give this connection for so long, okay? Honoring what you know, what you've learned so far. Yes, absolutely. But also honoring your emotional side, your spirit, your soul, your inner child, okay? Clarifying this, we have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Judgment in reverse, Seven of Cups in the reverse. It's time to take the mask off and look in the mirror and decide... What is important to you? How impactful you are? 
what your purpose is, why you're here, how you have been spending your time, okay? And when you truly go within and reflect and have that self-surrender, you are going to come out feeling balanced, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, when she's balanced, this is an energy that can handle working, okay? A family, a relationship, friends, volunteer work, whatever that means, okay? She has a full plate, but she's abundant and she takes care of herself. But you must go within and take the mask off before you can embrace that energy. But that's your advice. That's what the universe wants for you, Virgo. Three of Cups, okay? Don't be afraid to ask for help. You're not supposed to do this by yourself, okay? Just be mindful who you're asking. Chances are that if you guys are struggling with some things, you didn't learn certain skills, okay? Skill sets that you needed. So you may not have people in your circle, family members or friends that are safe, okay, to go to to ask, okay? Consider therapy, consider a life coach, whatever that means for you. Even if it's just a journal for right now. What you don't see coming is the two of cups. I love it. Beautiful, especially with so much pain. It's divine love. That is a soulmate connection. Okay, that is in the cards for you, Virgo. Okay, but you have to make the choice here to move forward in a different way. Okay, to break this cycle so you can have love. Page of Swords in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the reverse, the Empress in the reverse. All of this needs to be brought balance. Oh, look at that. Leap of faith on the bottom of the deck there. That's what this is all about. Giving yourself love and nurture, compassion. Again, like you try to give these connections, okay? You're meant for a happy family, a happily ever after for true love, okay? But you have to be mindful of where your attention's going. This woman's trying to move forward and she's looking over here, okay? She doesn't know what she wants. She's not focused, okay? Spirit is saying you will have love, but first you must go within. And what um, your hopes and fears, this is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? You want to have goals. You want to focus. You want to bring stability, okay? Commitment to yourself and growth. Clarifying that, the Knight of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and the Artist. Yeah, adapting to change, okay? Keeping a balance and remembering you hold the paintbrush, Virgo. You decide. Okay, this is putting aside all obstacles, not being distracted, even if it is a very deep soul, twin flame connection, whatever that means for you, okay? What's meant for you is yours, and you will not lose out on divine true love if it is meant for you by working on yourself. The universe sees you, they love you, they support you. Going forward for this week, you have the well. Make a wish, my loves and nurture it, nurture those wishes, plant those seeds, remember where your energy's going, the magician, <gasps> you're manifesting, so powerful Virgo, you guys are natural manifestors though, have you noticed that things always work out, okay, you need to make a choice, okay, not by offering love to others, that's not where your happiness lies, connect yourself with your inner child here, offer this cup of love to yourself, Rest assured, love is in your future, okay? Now, for the Starseed Oracles. Soul memories and gifts, you've done this before, Lost Lands. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. Pave a new path. Be the leader that you wish you had. That's exactly what I was trying to say earlier, okay? Reparenting ourselves. Again, that shadow work full moon video I just did it may be very helpful for you right now, okay? But that's what I'm seeing. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me or a private coaching session, you can find my information in the description box below. Otherwise, please like this video. Say hey to me in the comments. Subscribe, share, but most of all, be kind. I love you. Bye.